No, but right? anyway. But it could be something that we would want to fund, like if people are more reflected and maybe they'll think better about their choices when they vote or whatever. Maybe, yeah, maybe we could hope for that, right? Although like um, most um, most classes that people are taking, if they touch on politics at all, they're probably making people worse because they're probably propagandizing the students and you know not teaching them to think critically, but just teaching them to accept the dogma that the particular professor happens to hold mm -hmm. because they become an echo chamber. And you know, like um, if you if the government gives people more money to go to college, you know what's going to happen? We're just going to raise our prices. And we're going to keep raising them until people stop paying. Because that's the way it works. And like <laughs> we can spend any amount of money, right? I promise you, we will never turn down money. <laughs> like, okay, so, you know, if like if the government pays for everyone, if they pay an unlimited amount, we're going to keep raising them, you know, a million dollars or tuition. Oh, you're still paying that ten million dollars. OK, we're just going to keep going until there's no money left. All right. And then and what are we going to spend this money on? I don't know. We'll find something. It'll probably be something useless. Right? Mm -hmm. we'll, just, we'll just fund more, you know, more professors traveling around the country to give talks and have many vacations. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, in a, in a sense, we are sort of trapped in the system, right? Because it's universally acknowledged that a university education is good. And so you get the better jobs and therefore it looks good and people want to fund it and they want their children to go to university. Yeah. Um, like it has all this status and it's going to keep having that status probably. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I keep waiting for our business model <laughs> to break down. Um, so this is what I think basically happened. You know, sometimes I tell the kids this. I think of the students as kids. So sometimes I tell the kids this, that uh, what happened was originally universities were for intellectuals who wanted to understand more about the nature of reality and their place in it. And, you know, and um, in the Middle Ages, like there it was a lot of religion. It was a lot of people who were highly religious and wanted to learn more about God, but in an intellectual scholarly way. Okay. Uh, but then, you know, sometime later, I don't know, it's like been centuries, um, employers noticed that those people were better at their jobs, almost no matter what the job was. And the reason for this is that, well, people who are intelligent and intellectually curious are just good at a lot of things. Okay, so anyway, so then what happened was that other people started, okay, so that the employers start hiring, preferentially hiring people who've gone to college, because they just happen to be better. It wasn't because they learned job skills in college, it was because they're intelligent and conscientious, right, basically. And so then, okay, so the employers are hiring these people preferentially, and then a bunch of people who are not intellectuals decide to start going to college so they can get better jobs. And so, and that's, and you know, that's why most of the students are there today. So basically they're there to pretend to be intellectuals so that they can look like they're going to be good workers, like the people who actually are intellectuals, right?